This is the Yakola keyboard stand with wrist rest. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the user manual, you get the keyboard stand itself, it's a clear acrylic plastic, and the wrist rest. The wrist rest, really nice and soft, definitely would be comfortable. It's squishy but firm. In other words, it comes back to where it was before uh, like that. Uh, obviously you rest your keyboard on here, so it's just like that, and you have three different angles that you can use this at. You can use it at 76, 81, or 84 degrees. So this is the 76 degree, this way 81 degrees, and then you can turn this around like that and rest it right on top and that's 84 degrees like that and that's in relation to the uh, desk or table or anything like that you can see how this is raised up 84 degrees pretty close to 90 degrees as you see like that this is specially designed for use with the magic keyboard by that fruit company uh, the only thing magical about that is how high the price is on it I have some normal keyboards that we're going to try this out with uh, and see how that goes. So first thing we'll do is we'll turn that around like that and I'll get a keyboard in a minute. You also have room of course underneath like that so you can store pens, pencils, uh, flash drives, anything like that would be convenient to store under it so this way you have that space available for those little doodads that you have on your table or desk that just never really have a good place. Let's get a keyboard and try it out. So I have two different keyboards here. We'll start with this one here. This is a really slim keyboard. As you see, it's a smaller form factor than most. Uh, the keys are close. There's no separate space here between the regular keys and your, num your numeric keypad. This does have little flip-out feet on it that you can use in conjunction with it if you want. Uh, or you can flip that down like that. So this pretty much just sits like that and yeah that definitely works. Let's try it at the next angle up, 81 degrees like that. We'll just fit it together. Put this keyboard back on like that. Yeah that feels a lot more comfortable for me indeed. Uh, nice to have it at a little bit of an angle like that. I don't know about the 90 degree or almost 90, 84 degree angle because that is almost flat and I'm not sure that that's going to be the most convenient. You know, it actually, it's, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, reasonable. Definitely can't complain with that. Let's get that keyboard out of the way. I have another one here. We'll set this back up once again at each angle. So here is the 76 degree angle once again. This one is a mechanical keyboard, non-clicky keys, and that just fits on here. Not not digging that particular angle with that, but you know you have options here. You you have to do what's most comfortable for you, because if you're the one using it, if you don't like it, then <laughs> what's the point? So there's that. Yeah, that's definitely. I really like that 81 degree angle like that. Definitely a lot nicer to type with that angle like that good and we'll try the last angle flip this around once again something about like that it, it works and with this particular keyboard it's it's nice but it would take a little getting used to for me uh, I like the th somewhat thinner 
uh, wrist rest like that. That's that kind of is nice like that, depending on exactly how you do it um, and how you like it. I I think really for me the uh, 71 degree, I'm sorry, the um, 81 degree angle is really best. That's that's how I really like it. Yeah, that definitely feels a lot more comfortable. And what's also pretty cool about that is you can take this other keyboard and slide it completely under there to store it. So if you swap keyboards out, especially if they're wireless, makes it a lot more convenient. Keyboard under there, or you can leave your keyboard under there and protect it from dust and stuff like that. And swap out, you know, maybe you have a special gaming keyboard you only use for gaming or something like that. Uh, not bad all around. Um, definitely better than typing alone completely without it. Let's get it out of here for a second and compare that. Because typing on this little thing, I mean, yeah, your wrists are, it doesn't work. And even with the little flip out guys on that, the wrist rest really helps in that regard. And setting that aside, yeah, not bad like that because it's a bigger and more pronounced keyboard. This is sort of more like the Magic style keyboard, uh, like that. And of course, if your keyboard has flip out feet like that, you can use that with the Yakola stand. So let's bring that back up over here for a moment. Put that there, over here, put this under that, like that, that for me is actually even a little tall with the flip out feet, but kind of that's what the whole thing is for to begin with. Yeah, absolutely a lot nicer like that. So all around pretty nice, store stuff underneath keep it out of the way. Have your keyboard up there. Looks sleek and modern just like that. So all around a pretty nice keyboard stand with wrist rest by Yakola. If you'd like to purchase this item I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.